Congratulations. You finally did it. You found a mobile home that you'd like to flip, but there's just one question. How much is this going to cost me? Well, in this video, I'm going to help you figure out roughly about how much a flip is going to cost you going into the new year. Now, if you're new at this, it's likely you don't have a contractor or a handyman to kind of hold your hand on every walkthrough of every mobile home that you come across or even looking at pictures online. Now, the way I get a rough estimate on a flip is through the price per square foot method. Now, before I explain this process to you, you got to understand that your prices are going to vary based on a few different factors. These factors will include the location, the market, the price point, whether or not you're doing the work yourself or hiring a contractor, and the age of a home. Now, older mobile homes are more costly to repair than newer mobile homes, but they are cheaper. Licensed contractors are going to be more costly than handymen. Another thing to take into consideration is that I live here in Alabama and there are tons of new and old mobile homes here all over the place. So the prices that I'm going to tell you are going to vary depending on where you live at, whether that be in New York, North Carolina, the Midwest or some flyover state that I can't even think of right now. So the first type of flip is going to be the cleanup rehab. So in this video, for example, I'm going to be using a single wide mobile home that's 16 by 80. Now for this level of flip is typically around about three to five dollars per square foot. This is going to consist of painting, changing out the faucets in the home, doing some door repairs and removing debris. Basically what you're going to be doing is removing any signs of the previous occupants in the home. Maybe the home is already kind of moving ready, but you want to spice things up a little bit to maximize your profits for either sale or renting the place out. Now, the next type of flip is going to be called a lipstick rehab. Now, for this level of flip, it's typically going to be around about $10 per square foot. Now, bear in mind that you're also going to be using somebody who's going to be doing this work for you. So that is factored into the cost as well. If you're doing this stuff by yourself, then it's going to be cheaper. I guarantee it. Now, this level of flip is going to consist of all the things that I just talked about in the first type of flip, but you're also going to be changing out the flooring, the sinks, etc. Now, for the flooring, we like to use LVP, which is laminate vinyl planks and you can find this for around one dollar per square foot it looks impressive and the quality is there plus it's cheap in this type of flip we're also going to paint the exterior the interior and the cabinets and the bathroom vanities now cabinets and older mobile homes tend to be particle board and it's a toss-up on whether or not they're going to be able to be used or not but sometimes you can get lucky now we usually do the cabinet colors in white or gray same thing applies with the countertops i mean if you're going to be spicing up the cabinets and everything you might as well go on ahead and change out the countertops too now i don't recommend using something like a granite countertop because we're trying to keep our costs low as possible in this flip now we like to use laminate countertops which are typically cheaper and they come in a variety of patterns and colors, even marble. Now you can get these at Lowe's or Home Depot for around about 170 bucks for 120 inches. And you can put these in the kitchen and in the bathrooms. Now when it comes to standard bathrooms in a mobile home, many of these will come with an acrylic tub with a styrofoam base. Uh, the good thing about this is they're cheap, but the bad side about this is sometimes they can be cracked. If it's just cracked and don't panic, you can get a repair kit for around about 20 bucks at Lowe's or Home Depot. Another thing is that they may be stained over the years from so much use. And in order to bring these tubs up to par with the rest of the home that we're going to make look great, I like to use an epoxy on the tub. You can get these in a variety of colors, mostly white, but it's only going to cost you around about 50 bucks versus paying three, four, five hundred dollars for a brand new acrylic tub. Now, the cool thing about epoxy is it's really durable, so it can stand up to feet and scrub pads. Another thing is, yes, you can do tiles in the bathroom, but we like to use a five piece bathtub wall panel kit. They're easy to install. They look great and they're cheap. Now, once this flip is done, everything looks brand new. Now, the next type of flip is going to be the interior flip. So instead of just replacing the old cabinets and vanities, you're actually going to be replacing them here. Now, of course, high end cabinets look and feel great, but we want to save money on our flips. So we're going to stay on the cheaper side to the mid tier range. Also on this type of flip, if you're going to be replacing the tubs and I would typically stick with an acrylic tub rather than going with something like porcelain or even fiberglass, because that's also going to be far more cost effective. If you're going to be replacing these tubs and I'd recommend starting off at your local restore. Now, they got a lot of stuff that gets donated to them by contractors and retailers who have no need for this stuff. There's also a lot of families and stuff who are remodeling their homes and they just get rid of these things and they'll donate them to them. And you know what they say about one man's trash? 
The last type of flip is going to be the full remodel. Now, this is a type of flip that might be worth mentioning because not every home that you sell is going to need to be moved. Landscaping is a big part of curb appeal, and if that is the case, then you'll want to include that in your cost as well. Now, many times if the home doesn't have to be moved or anything like that, then this is not going to be important. But if it can stay, then you'll want to spice up where the home looks like on the outside. So you can also include skirting in your cost too. Also, another thing I want to say about skirting too, people ask me about skirting all the time on the home. Now, if it has to be moved and they want to keep it, they're welcome to it. But to be honest with you, including skirting with a mobile home that has to be moved is going to be kind of pointless because of the variation in landscapes and things. Some homes will sit on flat land. Some of them will sit on an incline. I know you guys have seen this plenty of times and the skirting has to be cut differently. So if the home already has skirting on it, who's to say that it's going to fit wherever they're going to move it to? So it's kind of pointless. But if you want to include that in your cost as well, uh, once the home is delivered and they take care of the delivery costs, then that's great too. But don't lose any sleep over it. Now, fixing major items can cost you thousands, and I haven't mentioned these for a reason, but I'll talk about them here. Now, these might include roofing, HVAC, and plumbing and electric. A metal roof on a 16 by 80 can cost you anywhere from four to $6,000. So if you gotta do all this stuff, I mean, the payoff is pretty good, but it can easily cost you anywhere from about fifteen dollars to $20,000 for this type of flip. Take it or leave it. Now that we've gotten all this stuff out of the way, how exactly do you use this information? Now, those numbers are for where I live at in the Southeastern United States. United States, but I kind of bumped them up a little bit just to kind of get a national average. Now, it doesn't really matter what the number is. You just need to be able to ballpark a flip when analyzing deals so that you can make the best offer possible. As I said in previous videos, just because somebody is asking a certain price for a mobile home, it doesn't mean that you have to pay that. Sometimes people will give all sorts of astronomical figures out there for no dog on reason. Maybe they do understand the, uh, the value of the home. Maybe they don't. And you need to use this information like you found in this video to be able to educate them to get yourself a better deal. If the numbers are right based on the information in this video, then go for it. If not, then at least you got some powerful negotiating tools in your toolbox. So if you made it this far in the video and you found the information helpful, then please consider a donation to support content creation on this channel. Links are in the description. Also, if you'd like to book a call with me for coaching on where I can teach you how to invest in mobile homes, then you can find a link for that in the description below as well. And you can also message me on IG with the word flip and we'll chop it up. That's going to do it for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.